Have you ever wanted to extend the duration of a Fusion title in DaVinci Resolve? In this video, we'll look at several different ways to do this using the built-in titles as well as third-party titles. If you enjoy this video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more great content. If there's something you'd like to see a tutorial on, please leave a comment below. Let's switch over to Resolve and get started. Now the first thing we want to do is under our toolbox, under our effects library, click on generators and just drag a solid colour down onto the timeline. Now we'll just leave this as black, it gives us a good background to work with. Change our duration to 10 seconds to give us plenty of time. Now under titles, we can just choose a title, we'll select this 3D lower third plane slide in, move it down onto the timeline, and we can play to see what it looks like. So we can see the plane and text slide in and slide out over the duration of the five seconds. Now, if we move this out to 10 seconds, go back to the start, play it again, you can see it slides in at the same speed, stays on the screen for an extended period of time, and then at the end of the clip, slides back out again. So what effectively is happening is the gap in the middle, just the pause with it on the screen, is just being extended. Now, that might not be what you want, so let's go into the Fusion tab and have a look at what's happening. So on the Fusion tab, we can see we've got our keyframe editor. We'll turn that off at the moment and turn the nodes on. Now what we can see with most of the built-in titles, they'll be grouped. So we can double click, move this up to give us a bit more room. And this gives you all the nodes associated with the title. Now the key one here that's causing the stretching is the keyframe stretcher. So what that's effectively doing is it's moving the keyframes out to either end of the title and so it's leaving that large gap in the middle. Now we might not want that large gap, so we can change this manually to suit exactly what we want. So if we click on the keyframe stretcher node, backspace to remove it, save our project. Now what we can do is we can click on the keyframe button up the top to, to view the keyframe window and we can actually click on the nodes window to hide that. Now, if we extend out the tree view, we can see we've got a number of items. Now, we don't really need the master light for this example, but what we can see is we've got our transform 3D, our X offset, which if we move along the timeline, we can see this is where the changes are being triggered. So what we can do is if we click on the transform 3D one, we can move any of these key frames along the timeline to either extend or decrease the amount of time. So if we wanted to move this one out a little bit, move this a bit, move this in. So what that's effectively doing, if we move the playhead back and forth, is it's slowing down the slide in of the text and it's slowing down the slide out of the text. So what you'll see now is because we've moved the text keyframes, but not the ground plane, is that the ground plane behind is actually disappearing prior to our text disappearing. So we can also move these ones along to wherever we like, leave as large or a smaller gap as we like, and we can adjust the timing like that. Okay, so if we go back to the start, we can see that our plane slides in a lot faster, so we can move this one out as well. So that that just changes the keyframes associated with each of the objects moving on the screen, so we can determine exactly when the text comes on the screen. What this allows us to do is, even if we want to have a an extended time frame, we might not want to be that huge gap in the middle, so we can adjust these keyframes accordingly to make sure we've got the gap that we want. Now, if we go back to the edit page, we can remove the built-in title. And if we go down in our effects editor, I've got a, a third-party title that I've imported into the system. We can move that onto the screen, move our playhead back. We can see that the title is a dark background with white text. Now, what will happen is if we stop and we move this one out to our 10 seconds, move our playhead back and play, By the middle of the clip, the text has disappeared. So if we click on our title, click on the Fusion tab, 
we can see what's happening. We'll hide our keyframe editor again for the moment, open our nodes up. Now, what we'll notice with a lot of imported titles that we can't double click to see all the nodes. We've only got the built-in macro and the media out. So there's two ways that we can now adjust this. We can come back into our keyframe editor, give us some more room. And even though we can't see inside the macro tool in the nodes, in the keyframe editor, we can get an idea of what's happening. We can see the rectangle size, there's a transform which affects the Y size of the object, and there's a main text path. So by moving our playhead back and forth, we can see what's going on. So once again, we can select our keyframes, move them around to suit the timing that we want. And we can move our Y size, so we can bring this in a little bit to suit however we want the title to look. Now if we play, we can see it slows it down a little bit and doesn't leave as large a gap in the middle. So if we go back to our edit page, we've slowed it down a little bit and the text slides in slightly slower than it did before. The other way we can do this is by utilizing the same mechanism that the built-in title uses, and that is using a keyframe stretcher. So if we bring in the free title again, just as normal, move our playhead over, select our Fusion title, click on the Fusion tab, turn off our keyframes, turn back on our nodes. Now what we can do is select our macro tool, hit Control Space, and we can add a keyframe stretcher by just typing key, clicking on add, and that'll automatically add it into the middle in between the macro tool and the media out. So now if we go back to our edit page, move our playhead back to the start, play our video, we can see we get the normal result for the title over the five seconds. If we stretch it out to 10 seconds, and if we play the video now, we can see that the text comes up on the screen, stays on the screen, and doesn't go off until the end of the 10 second clip. So this shows us how we can stretch out both built-in titles and third-party titles using either the built-in keyframe stretcher or by manually manipulating the keyframes. So that gives an insight into how to change the duration of Fusion titles within DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit the like and subscribe button and push that bell icon to be notified when we release new videos.